Hi guys, Mr. Smith here. Just thought I'd do a little video on some tie dyeing trends that I've set. But you can all do your own tie dye at home, and afterwards you can send them all to me so we can have a look and see what they're like. Hey guys, so these are all the things you need, okay? So you need an elastic bands, okay? Strings fine if you haven't got any, or hair bands, all the same, as long as it can pull it tight when you make your shape. Some cling film, this is a cool cling film from school, I just got one at home, that's fine. Okay, a nice white piece of clothing, okay? So here's a t-shirt I've got, just normal white piece of clothing. Socks are fine, vest, oh, anything. I would go for something thin though, for your first one. Um, if it's too thick, sometimes it doesn't work very good, okay? And then you need dye, now I buy mine from just a supermarket, or the range you can get it, okay? The dye on one's really good, okay, works every time for me and a little bottle, and I'll show you how to make it in a moment. And then you need some salt. So you can buy dye salts, they're really cheap, it's like 60p for a bag, or just normal table salt, exactly the same, okay? Doesn't matter. And then your draining board, okay? So you normally have one beside the sink. If not, you can get cake trays that have slats in, or like an oven rack, that's exactly the same, okay? Just something with slats in, and I'll show you why you need that later. So I'm going to show you how to make the die now, okay? Now this is really easy, but you just need to be careful with what you do in your measurements, okay? Because if you put too much of one thing, it might not come out exactly like you want it, okay? So first, you need to get your pack of dye. Sometimes they're bigger than this, but I like these little ones because they're just the right size, okay? Chop the corner off, okay? Some people go all the way, don't do that, because it's just going to make it harder for yourself, okay? Open it up a little bit, and then you want to fill whatever container you have about a third of the way. Obviously, if it's massive, you will need to like, think about it and you won't need as much, okay? So about a third of your container will need to be the dye. Now, obviously, if it takes really long time to go in, then you might need to uh, make that little hole a little bit bigger, um, but it shouldn't take too long, okay? So I would say about a third, and you can see it filling up, okay? This is your colour, okay? This is where the colour comes from. If you have too much of this dye, that's when the colour will be overpowering and then your whole t-shirt will be one colour. And that's not what we want. We're going for patterns here, okay? Now you need to get your salts, okay? So I'm using dye salt, like I said a minute ago. Table salt is fine, okay? They're more or less the same. These have just got a little bit of different ingredients in. I think it's just the way they're made, okay? Now this, you need to put about the same amount you have dye in, okay? This keeps the colour its own colour, so that when it mixes with other colours, they don't kind of go into one, okay? I don't know the science of words, Mr. Ellis Davies or Miss Chapel will probably be able to explain it to you, but I can't, okay? And I would say about the same amount you have a dye. And then once you've done that, you then want warm water. Now, I would just use water from your hot tap at home. Obviously, be careful that you don't burn yourself or anything like that. Um, don't let it run too long. I would just turn it on, fill it up. You want it right to the top if you've got this size bottle. Obviously, like I say, you need to think about what size you've got. And then once you've done it, you need to put it on. And when you put your lid on, take the top off, okay? If you leave it on, because it's got hot water, the pressure might build up and then it'll pop off. And we don't want dye going everywhere, okay? So make sure you take your lid off, okay? And then just give it a swirl and then leave it for a, a about five minutes, okay? It will cool down by then. Then you can pop your lid on, okay? And then give it a nice shake, okay? And then you'll have your dye made up, ready to go. Okay, so once you've washed it, you need to make sure that it's all wrung out, so I've got no water left in this one, okay? And then you're gonna open it up and lie it flat on your table or kitchen top, probably a little bit better. Stop mum having a go at you. Just like that. Okay, so now we need to make our t-shirt into the way that we're gonna design it, so it has like a pattern. So you can do loads of different things, and if you watch different YouTube videos, you'll see different styles, but I'm just gonna do the simple one that everyone does, it's called a starburst, it looks a bit like this, it's a swirl. Okay, so you need to grab it in the middle and then you're just going to twist and keep that pinch in the middle and then keep twisting. 
and you're bringing your t-shirt or whatever item you're using together and try to keep that swirl and then when you get to the end you just need to bring it round yourself until it's into a nice neat circle okay and you should be able to let go and it won't come undone that then gives you time to get elastic bands now i didn't mention these earlier but you do need these and if you haven't got these string is also fine don't worry i've used that before okay and you need them going right across your t-shirt or your clothing one like that and then one going right the opposite way okay and this will keep your design really tight when we add the dye to stop it coming undone and stop the dyes going into different sections okay so ideally if you're using elastic bands i always go right opposite each other like this if you're using string exactly the same it works just as well just make sure it's nice and tight that's the plan if you can see that it's like a star shape it should be okay and it keeps your swirl nice and swirly i suppose <laughs> so we've got our dies that we've already made mine are only about half full because i've used them up already but that's fine okay and then you've got your t-shirt over your draining board normally it would be over the stage but just for you i'm doing it over a little bit here just so Okay, I would only go for two dies on this one. When you've done a couple, go as far, you can make rainbow patterns, do whatever you want. Okay, give them a little shake because they can sometimes separate in the bottle. Okay, and be really careful with this. So, I mean, you can wear glass if you want to. Okay, just to be extra safe. Okay, and you don't want to get it over anything on the mum's workshop. Okay, and then choose one section and then do one colour. Okay, you want to go quite deep with it make sure you've got enough on because you want to get it in the center of whatever you're wearing okay then I would miss a section and go to the next one okay and then repeat that all the way around with that one color I mean you should have one miss one have one miss one like that okay and get your other color or you can leave it like that you don't have to use more than one color okay Give it a shake first. Oh, nearly forgot myself there, guys. Okay, and then we're going to pop that one over as well. I chose two colours to put really well together. Definitely wearing this one on the nose for uniform day, guys. There we go. Once you've done one side, just be careful. Now you need to turn it all the way over. And this is the little tricky part because you've got to try and match where you've done it before. It's not too bad, but you just need to pay a little bit of concentration just to make sure you get it in the same places if you want a really nice pattern. And then with the other colour. Make sure that you get plenty in the middle because lots of people will never put any in the middle and that's where you'll get your nice effect if you do it well. And there we go. Okay, so guys, you need to get your cling film now. I've got this really cool machine here because I'm at school at the moment. But obviously at home, you just have normal cling film. Okay, so you need to lay a nice big sheet out. I'm sure they've probably got a bigger table for this bit. Okay. And then you're going to get your piece of clothing and just carefully pick it up. It should have drained off a little bit by the time you've done this. And then you're going to pop it in the middle. And then you're just going to try and wrap it up. Okay? Now I would do this a couple of times because you don't want the dye coming out. So if you've got a normal thing going, it's actually easy. Okay? Just wrap it up a few times. Just like this. Okay, and it's nice and compact, just like that. Then you need to leave this overnight, I would say. Um, it needs to be at least 10 hours. The longer the better, but no more than one day, okay? Once you've done that, we then move on to the next step. Okay, so once you've left it, obviously, because I'm in school doing it in one day, it's not gonna look exactly like yours, okay? And it's not gonna look as good, basically. But that doesn't matter, I'm still gonna show you how. So you need to unwrap it, Make sure you do it over your sink. 
there might still be a little bit of liquid, but it should have dried up by now. Okay, so that's what you want. And the dye has started to develop into your top. If you leave it any longer, then it won't develop too much, and some of the colour will change, and that's what you don't want. That's why I said only one night or a day max. Okay, to undo it, now you want to take off your elastic bands. Okay, make sure you do this over the sink, like I said, because this can be very messy. Okay. Be really careful, okay? And you'll see as you undo it, you should be able to see a bit of a pattern already. Obviously, like I said, mine's not going to be perfect if I didn't do mine overnight. So you'll be able to see, you just hold it up a little bit, you'll have a really nice pattern on it. Look a bit like that. You need to wash it out so that all the loose dye is disappeared down the sink we don't want this loose dye when we put it in our washing machine in a minute because that loose dye will then go into all the other colours and you'll come out with probably like a brown top and you don't want that okay and you keep doing it until the water runs clear okay now like I said this one's probably not going to work because I didn't leave it overnight okay but you squeeze it all out until the water runs clear it's not going to go clear because I'm not doing it okay so I haven't got a washing machine beside me here, but you will at home hopefully, and then that's what you need now. So I'm going to pretend this is my washing machine for a minute. So once you've wrung it out, you need to then just try and open it up a little bit, okay? And then pop it in your washing machine, but try and keep it nice and open, okay? Because you don't want it screwed up too much. Then with the salt that you used earlier, now I've got dye salt, but you can use normal table salt, fine. You just need to sprinkle a little bit over, okay? This will stop any of the colour running. Some will still come out, but it will just keep your pattern nice. Not too much, just a nice sprinkle over the top, okay? Too much is not a problem. You want more than less, okay? Now that goes on to a really quick wash. My washing machine does it in about 19 minutes. Some are like 20, 25. The quickest one you can do, that's what you need, okay? Give it a nice wash. Then you need to air it. Okay, put it on the washing, washing line or air or whatever. Do tumble dry it, okay? Because if you tumble dry it, sometimes the colour can go a bit weird, okay? So once you've aired it, okay, you probably think it's ready to wear, but you need to be really careful now, okay? So what I would do is just grab maybe a shoulder, okay? Something like that and run it under a tap, okay? Just one shoulder, something like that, okay? If any dye comes out at all, repeat that last part where you put it in a really quick wash, okay? Just repeat it. If no dye comes out, you're good to go, okay? I wear it, I wear it with style, just like, <laughs> okay? And then I'll show you what this one looks like afterwards. I'll pop a picture on, okay? And send me any pictures of the ones you've done yourself, because I want to see all of them, and I'll pop them on Facebook, okay?